everybody, it's Andy and welcome back to my channel. Today, as you can see, I'm going to be showing you all the sewing machines that I've collected since I started sewing. When you sew, you can't have too many machines. So let me tell you a bit about each one of them. Right, let's start with my very beginner machine, the Singer Start. This is where all it started. This was given to me by my mother-in-law on our wedding day and it was such a special gift and ne I never expected it. Uh, I have no clue why, you know, why she gave it to me. Uh, she, I'm just guessing. She probably knew that I love sewing and, and she, I might have told her that I gave my old sewing machine to my auntie i sent it to the philippines so she knows that i don't have any machine here in in dubai so maybe that's the reason why she gave it to me and i'm really grateful and thankful because if she did not give it to me i wouldn't be you know inspired again to start you know to continue sewing because i really liked sewing i started when i was um probably eight year old um, when I lived with my grandmother who had a dressmaking shop and she used to teach me um, the how to sew with the you know those old vintage singer with a table and you pedal there's no electricity you just pedal that was so cool I thought it was really cool but <laughs> when I started sewing with these type of machines, more domestic ones, I mean, this is better, I guess. I mean, it's not gonna hurt your foot. So, yeah. But still, I, I love the vintage ones. I would get one again in the future uh, to use it and mainly to keep it. All right, well, what I started making with this machine was when I was pregnant with my first born I started making felt books so I started making them and then eventually sold them and then I gave birth and then I stopped because you know you're tired and <laughs> not getting any sleep because of a newborn and all that I was sore I had a cesarean section it's just a long story but but then after a few months, I went back to sewing uh, when I, you know, fully recovered, happy again, happy to sew. So I then started sewing again. So we're going to move on to the next machine where I needed to upgrade. Right, so this is my second sewing machine. It's Janome 2030DC. I bought it um, on Facebook Marketplace for a really good deal and I just needed to upgrade because this the starter uh, or the beginner sewing machine was just not strong enough to make quilts so yeah this is a lot better and I did use this up until I needed to make queen size bed um, memory quilts and it struggled I still love it. I use it every single day still for small projects and I have a, a friend of mine that comes and help me make memory quilts and you know she uses this and I use a different one which I will be showing to you next. So let's look at that. Right this is my third sewing machine and the best ever sewing machine I could ever have. It's so amazing because it's semi-industrial and it's small but big at the same time, you know what I mean? If you have an industrial, you're going to need a big space because of its table and all that and a, and a big motor and, and just very loud as well. I mean, some, some are quiet, but here you get the in, industrial power but you also get a nice sleek, you know, design. And you get a lot of stitches from this. It's Janome 6700P. P stands uh, 
for professional. So it is a very professional quilter machine, but you can use it if you're a bag maker. Uh, it's definitely very powerful. This is my favorite. I use this every single day. And I just love it. Um, it's all metal and it's got different um, plates. You can change the plates, this, this bit. And, you know, it's got an HP foot that is also very good with, you know, piecing. But I just use the HP foot all the time. I rarely um, change it. Although with the HP foot, you can't do the zigzag stitches or any other stitch, but just straight lines, which I'm always 90% of the time I use straight lines. So that's fine. Yeah, so let's move on to my fourth sewing machine. Here's my fourth and fifth um, sewing machines. They are overlocker or some call them sergers. I need them because I started making baby clothes for some shops and also for my own shop. And you, you know, you just want a, f a proper professional finished look on your garments. So, you know, I, I bought them. And two, because why not? <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, if you're beginning um, in sewing, you don't need these things unless you're actually going into um, garment making right away. But for me, I was, you know, I was focusing on quilts and making felt books, so I didn't need any of those, any of these. And but now that I've, I'm exploring dressmaking, I, I actually really need it. Um, yeah, so they're very helpful. They just, if you don't know anything about sergers or overlockers, the main thing they do is they finish off edges, uh, the raw edges on, if you look at your t-shirts, that's actually a cover stitch. That's a whole different um, machine, but most inside your um, neckline, you'll see that this is surged and yeah, that's what this does. So gives you a professional and really nice finish. So let's move on to my very last sewing machine. So here's my embroidery machine and it's the only embroidery machine I have. And it was a bit of an investment um, only after a year in my business because it was a, a a necessary investment because I do a lot of customization on the memory quilts. I embroider the names, where it starts, uh, anything. I also uh, have embroidered messages from you know the parent to um, the child who they're giving the memory quilt to, and all sorts. It's I got this specific one. It's Brother Innovis BP three six zero zero because it's so easy to program. It's, it's really easy to just design on the screen. You don't need any skills on the um, embroidery software on a computer. Uh, you just go ahead and can directly design it on the um, machine. It has a very big screen. It's, it's almost like a, using a tablet or a phone. It's that easy and it's, you know, you can connect it through Wi-Fi and you can Bluetooth, um, you know, designs or images and then you can convert them. It's so easy to use and I just love it. And um, although it's a, it's a bit of an investment, also it, you know, it goes to the service center probably three times already uh, and it's not been two years. So, but you know what, they do need, a lot of maintenance but they are a workhorse and they're really really good so those are all the sewing machines I have I'm curious to know what sewing machines you have and how many uh, which was your favorite leave a comment on the comment section below and again thank you so much for being with me today spending a bit of your time to watch my videos and again remember to be kind to everyone happy sewing Bye.